Good morning. Welcome to Hit360 this morning. Oh, what a what a week. I'll give everyone a little bit more time this morning to um, to join. I know several people are getting kids situated in school at right about 9 a.m. Um, uh, hopefully my kids are on. <laughs> uh, we have a great workout this morning. Um, might be a little lower impact, uh, still just as much intensity, a little low impact than we've done in past weeks. I am taking, giving my legs a week of uh, lower impact as far as running and jumping goes. So, but I'll, um, be able to show modifications in both directions throughout the workout. Um, whether you want to make it a little harder, a little easier. And I'm going to get my timer started. We will get started with um, a warm up here in just a sec. Um, so this is HIT 360. The HIT is high intensity interval training. The 360 um, refers to the 360 degrees of movement that our body um, moves in, and the, the uh, various planes of movement. We can move forward and backward, side to side, we can twist, and then infinite a number of, um, of planes in between each of those uh, movements. So um, hopefully we'll get a, a touch on um, each of those planes a little bit today, um, going forward, backward, side to side in our movement. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully we have a few people that have gotten on. And we're going to start with some air squats here. Just getting legs, core warmed up. Bracing your core as you go down into each squat. Giving your chest up. One of the biggest things that happen that I try and coach away from in squats is tipping forward like this. When your hips go down, your chest is going to go down the same rate. You should never have your chest going down unless your hips are going back and down at the same time. So that's just something to think about as you're warming up here with these squats. And a lot of that's going to come from having a strong core and good mobility in your back and in your hips and in your ankles. Having that good dorsiflexion, being able to keep your feet flat on the floor throughout a squat. You get about 10 more seconds of here. I was very sad have to cancel um, having an in-person class. We have some horrible air quality here right now because of fires. All right, reach up nice and high, hinge at your waist, push your hips back, feel that stretch through your hamstrings. Go ahead and reach down to the floor, walk out to a plank here. Go ahead and bring your right um, leg forward into a low lunge. Drop that left leg, bring it back up. Return to a plank. Left leg comes forward, drop that right knee. Bring it back up. Return to a plank and walk it back up. Reach. Hinge. So just hinging right at your waist, feeling that stretch through your hamstrings. Reach the floor, walk out. Plank. Right leg forward. Drop that left knee, bring it back up, return to a plank, left leg forward, drop your right knee, bring it up, return to a plank, and walk it up. All right, we're going to get some T-spine rotations on this next one, so go ahead and hinge again, reach the floor, walk it out, bring that right leg forward. Drop that left knee, plant your left hand, and rotate, reaching that 
that right arm up to the ceiling. And return to that plank. Left leg comes forward, right hand stays planted, drop your right knee and rotate. Let's return to a plank. Now bring your right leg forward again. Drop your left knee. Same rotation as before. Now go ahead and plant that right hand right inside your foot. Let your shoulder push against the inside of your knee and get this rotation. It should feel a little tighter, or it may feel a little tighter, and that's okay. All right, let's return to a plank. Bring that left foot forward, drop your right knee. Keep your right hand planted, rotate. Now put that left hand inside the left foot, push against the inside of your knee, and rotate. Ooh, I'm tight here. Feels good. Ooh, nice job. Go ahead and sit on the floor. We're going to get some hip rotations here. Sit up nice and tall. Both feet are facing the same wall here. So you're in this, what you call shin boxes we're going to do. You're just going to roll your feet. And then they should be still facing the same way as each other, but uh, the opposite wall. And then rotate. If you need to put your hands down here to give yourself a little help, that's fine. But if you don't need to, don't. It's really good to make your core activate during these. Support that hip mobility. A couple more rotations. And then we're going to hinge up. Bring your hips forward and then down. Rotate, hinge up, hips come forward and down. All right, now rotate again. We're going to hinge right at your waist and drop your chest down to your knee. Feel that good stretch and come up. And down and up. If you've been doing this class with me for a few weeks, this should start feeling easier. Everything should feel like it's a little more mobile. All right, let's get started. Guess what? Three rounds of work today. But I like the number three. We do a lot of threes. Three rounds of work. Big rounds, big sets, three big sets. Each set has four exercises. First set um, is a fast set, or the movements will be done quickly. They'll be fast. Second one will be slow. And the third big set will be fast again. All right. First movement, we're going to take 40 seconds each with 20 seconds of rest. And we're going to move through them quick. And first movement looks like this. You're going to be in a squat. You're going to step out and in, out and in. It's a little abduction while you're in the squat. Okay, and as you feel like you can go faster, go faster. I don't want you just going like that, though. I want it to be a step out from your hip. So if you need to watch, that's wrong. That's right. So don't just straighten your leg out. I want you to move from your knee. I want you to move from your hip with that abduction. 40 seconds starts right here. Find that squat and step. Brace your core, keep your chest up. Knee should be bent the whole time. The 
This isn't about how wide you step. This is about keeping that control. Moving from your hip. You got this about five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. You have a 20 second break. Next movement. We're gonna be in a plank. And we're gonna do straight arm walkouts. So you're just gonna stay in this plank, walking your hands out and back. And Time to go, find that straight arm plank, little movements out, little quick movements, and back in. Did you feel your core brace throughout this? I don't want your butt up in the air. Bring it, bring that hip forward. Bring your belly button towards your spine. Your abdominals should feel very short, not lengthened, but very tight. And that's time, team. That was a long. All right, next one. Give us an extra five minute, five second break here. This next part is 40 seconds per side. I don't want my mat at all here. We're going to do a reverse lunge and touch the floor and come up with a single arms, a single leg hop or a calf raise or just a knee raise. So you're here, here, or a hop. We're going to do 40 seconds, stay on one side and switch it to the other side. Three, two, one, and go. So reverse lunge, Touch the ground and drive that knee up. And this should be quick, team. Go fast. You should feel that hamstring on your leg. That's Staying on the, or close to the floor. Three, two, one, and switch. Touch the floor each time. Heels flat during that lunge. The front heel flat and then come up. seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Good work. All right. This next one's fun. We're going to be in a plank. Make sure I'm remembering this right. Oh, no, we're not. We're gonna be in a sit up. I'm gonna scoot way back here. I'm gonna do a sit up. And then once I come up, I'm planting one arm. And I'm gonna raise my body up into a plank. And then I'm gonna get a knee drive and then return. Sit up, come up to a plank, roll over, knee drive with the other knee, and return. All right, team. So sit up, roll over to a plank, get one single arm leg knee drive. I'm going to drive my knee that is not my pivot leg. So driving that non-pivot leg um, knee and then roll back over. You'll get it. It's a... Uh, Less complicated once you get going. Okay, ready, set, go. Sit up, roll over, knee drive, roll back. Sit up, plank, knee, roll back. Sit up, plank, knee, roll back. Aren't these fun?
Squat and hold with those abductions. We know what we're doing now. We're going to move quick and go. Find that squat. Abducting from your hip, moving away from your body, from your hip here. Little taps. So don't find yourself straightening your leg out. Hip, knee, ankle all move together. Stepping away. Go ahead and drop that butt. Keep it low. Core is engaged. Toes stay pointed forward. Three, two, one, good work. 20 second break. We're gonna hit the floor. Plank with those hands stepping out. Three, two, one, straight arm plank here and walk it out and bring it back. How far out can you go? Test it out team. Core is super tight here. Quick little steps out. Three, two, one, and done. All right, time for that reverse lunge with the knee drive. Going straight for 120 seconds here. Just kidding, 80 seconds. Going straight for 80 seconds, 40, 40 seconds on each leg. Ready, set, go. Reverse lunge, touch the floor, and drive that knee up. Remember, you don't have to jump here. You can just get a calf raise or just a knee raise. Come back into your heel, touch the floor. You can do this weight shift. Weight shift back, comes forward. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Time for some fun. Sit up, roll over to a plank, single leg knee drive, roll back over to a sit up, then roll the other way. In three, two, one, go. Sit up, roll, knee. Sit up, roll, knee. You can try not putting both legs down as an extra challenge. So you're just having your pivot leg on the floor and then the knee drive. Three, two, one, and done. We got one more time through this last round of this big set. We're going to add a minute, I know, add a minute, add 20 seconds. Go up to a minute for each movement. Yes, 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 you can. Just 20 more seconds. 
doing a little endurance here. Grab a quick drink. We will take an extra 10 seconds of break. So 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of break for this last round. All right, first set are these squat holds with those abductions, that stepping away from the center of your body starts right here. Step it out, little quick steps, keep that weight back. Core should feel braced, chest should be up, don't be bent down way low like this. Toes stay pointed forward, keep breathing. It's your movement, make it right for you. If your squat isn't as low, that's okay. Keep those heels down though, I don't want you on your toes. You can do this less than 20 seconds left. Already over that hill. Keep it low, low, low. How low can you go? Five seconds. Three, two, one. Great work. 30 second break. We have our flank walkouts or hand step outs. Coming up here, get about 10 more seconds of break here. Enjoy it. All right, three, two, one. Find that straight arm plank and move it out. Pull that belly button in. I'm telling myself that as much as anyone. Keep those hips tight. Don't let them roll too much. You can do this over the hill here. Less than 15 seconds left. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Great job. 30 second break. I need a towel. I need to bring like an actual towel out here. All right. Reverse lunge. Yes, we're doing a minute per leg. Yes, we're gonna go fast. And yes, you can do this. Ready, set, and go. Drop it and drive it. Put weight in this heel right here when you're dropping. Bring it up to your toe when you're driving. Single leg stability, whole body coordination. We're building it all. Fifteen seconds left on this side, team. Keep it. In three, two, one. Other side, right away. Touch the floor every time. Drop that back leg. Try to look forward. Got this. Fifteen seconds left. 
You can do it. You can get a good break. In three, two, one. Woo! 30 seconds, never felt so good. And the fun. Sit up, roll over, plank with a knee drive. Whew. For one minute. Starting in three, two, and go. Sit up, knee drive. Try to keep your butt out of the air here. Have a nice solid plank for that knee drive. Core should be engaged. You can do these from your knees. You can, I'll show you, I'm gonna show you 
three options before we get started. You can be here, the traditional push up from your full plank. You can be here um, from your knees, or you can lift one leg. Kind of, this kind of gives you an in between. So you're, it's harder than a full knee push up, but easier than a full plank. And you can just split which knee is on the floor um, after three. All right, team. Here we go. Get that plank set up ready. Hips are going to go forward and pull in that core. Ready, set, and five, four, three, two, one, up. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Five, four, three, two, one, up. That's halfway. If you're switching knees, go for it. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Last one here. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Great job. When you're pushing down on those controlled push-ups, if you can push on the pinky side of your hand and the heel of your hand, like you're squeezing a ball that you're pushing through like a hole in the floor or something, that's going to help you ignite your chest. And keeping your shoulders low is the other important thing. So you're not up here, but you're down low. And using your chest, not your traps, and not too much of that front side of your shoulders. All right. Next, we're doing bridges, single leg bridge. Same thing, counting it out. So one leg is up, this leg is, is just hanging out. So if you want it straight, if you want it bent, I don't care. You're gonna bridge up. This heel is pushing hard into the floor. Your hips are way up and you're gonna count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. And up, that was one, five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, up, get those hips up, five, four, three, two, one, up, that's halfway, keep going, five, four, three, two, one, that's four, five, four, three, Two, one, five, five, four, three, two, one. That's six. Other side, right away. Find that high bridge. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive it. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Five, four. Three, two, one, up. I think that was four. Five, four, three, two, one, up. And last one, if I didn't count wrong, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, and we're gonna do some shoulder press negatives. So, Hands are planted. You're gonna go up with straight legs, so like you're in a down dog. And I want your ear between your biceps, like this. And then you're going to keep those legs straight, lower your head to the floor, and press it up. If that's too hard for you, bend your knees. It's gonna make it a little easier. So you're kind of lowering, we go to the side so you guys can see better. So you can be here, my mat's all wet. You can be here, lowering like this, or you can be here, lowering like this, all right? Or if, it, if both of those are too hard as well, just drop your knees and lower here, okay? We're gonna go slowly, same thing, six reps, five count down, ready? And go. Five, four, three, two, one. Press. Five, four, three, 
two, one, that's two. Five, four, three, two, one, three. Five, four, three, two, one, four. Five, four, three, two, one, five. One more. Five, four, three, two, one, six. Great job. Woo. All right, first set over. We're going back to the 99 lunge. This is not getting you super duper out of breath. A little more control, a little more power here. A lot of core brace to keep everything aligned throughout. So short breaks here. We're going to go 90-90 lunge. Ready? And go. Five, four, three, two, one. Press up. Five, four, three, two, one. Press up. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. That was four. Five, four, three, two, one, five. Five, four, three, two, one, six. Switch sides. Five, four, three, two, one, one. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Five, four, three, two, one, three. Five. Four, three, two, one, four. Five, four, three, two, one, five. Five, four, three, two, one, six. Great job. Push up negatives. Here we go. And set it up. Shoulders are low. And go. Five, four, three, Two, one, press. Five, four, three, two, one. That's two. Five, four, three, two, one. That's three. Five, four, three, two, one. That's four. Five, four, three, two, one. That's five. Five, four, three, two, one. That's six. Great job. Roll it over, hamstrings. Find that good bridge. Legs up and lower. Five, four, three, two, one, press. Five, four, three, two, one, press. Five, four, three, two, one, that's three. Keep that bridge. Five, four, three, two, one. That's four. Five, four, three, two, one. Five. Five, four, three, two, one. Six. Switch sides. Keep your bridge. And five, four, three, two, one. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, that was three. Five, four, three, two, one, four. Five, four, three, two, one, five. And five, four, three, two, one, six. Woo! All right, shoulder press, roll it over. Find what works for you here. I'm gonna go into this down, kind of a down dog, and lower your head between your hands. Five, four, three, two, one, press. Five, four, three, two, one, press. Five, four, three, two, one. One, that's three. I'm slipping so bad. Let me get a little break here so I can find a dry spot. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one, press. Five, four, three, two, one, press. 
last one more. And five, four, three, two, one, and press. Woo! All right, I wanna make sure we get through our last rounds. We're just gonna do two of that slow round. We're ready for fast again. We had to cut our last round short last week. It made me kind of sad. We're gonna get through it this week. All right, time for some speed. One minute per movement. This is still pretty low impact though. So you can read from that, no burpees. What? Yes, no burpees, but you'll still feel the burn. All right, one minute, bear crawl, toe taps. Hands are right under your shoulders. Knees are right under your hips. Core is brought in, engaged. And then you're gonna bring your toes under your heels, raise those knees, and start doing little taps. One minute is on the clock. Starting, let me reset. Right now, little taps. This is about speed, but it's also about control. Don't round your back, don't bring your butt up. Keep those knees low, back flat. Start feeling the burn right about now. That's normal. Keep it happening. Keep it coming. You did not come here for an easy workout. You came here to be challenged. Face the challenge. Keep it coming. Woo! Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, ha! Oh. Ooh, that burns. All right, we're gonna roll it over. We got 30 seconds per side on this next movement. It's for a full minute total. You're gonna be here, so you're in a plank, but you're gonna have that bottom knee bent. Get that elbow underneath you. Point your toe down. Bring your chest out, and you're gonna bring your leg forward and back. Leading with your heel so your toe points down the whole time. Lifting from your heel, lifting from your hip. 30 seconds per side. Starts right here. Bring that, those obliques up. Just because it's low impact doesn't mean this is not gonna burn little arch here. Your heel is drawing a little arch or your toe, pointing to, toes pointing to the floor, heels up to the ceiling. From right to the side of your body to the front, just not a huge movement, but a good arch. And roll it over, set up, other side right away. Feeling that burn. It's good, good, good feeling. Hips stay forward. Keep leading that heel up to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Woohoo! All right, continue with the speed round. One minute. We're doing a fast, no jump, but fast squat. You're gonna come down, touch the floor, and reach up. Make sure I'm not gonna hit anything. That's it, that's the movement. Down, up. In three, two, one, and go. Touch the floor every time, butt down, chest up. Your pace but I want it to be challenging. Don't short yourself on the squat. Nice and deep. 
Keep your chest up. You got this. 15 more seconds. seconds. <sighs> a break. And find that plank. And go. So forearm. Press to the heel of your hand to come up. Pike. Pike. If you're doing it from your knees, you're going to start on your knees, come up, then come to your plank. And pike. And pike. Reach back as far as you can. You can touch your ankles, touch your ankles. You're doing awesome. Less than 10 left here. Three, two, and one. Whew. Those are our four movements for this round. Get through them two more times, and we can call it a day. All right, bear crawls. Embrace the burn on these. And three, two, one, and go. Little taps. Keep those knees low. Core engaged. Try to keep that butt from coming up in the air. So drop your hips down through your knees. Over halfway. If you need to take a break, come down for a second or two and come right back up. You got this. Five, three, and done. Whew. I am pouring sweat. All right, next. Side plank with those abductions. We're gonna add 10 seconds this time. 40 seconds per side. You're here, toes down, rainbow forward, return to center. Starting in three, two, one, and go. It's not a huge movement. It's not about getting your hips up, real, leg up really high. It's a control the entire movement. Don't let your foot fall or slam onto the floor. You're picking it up and setting it down.
ready to turn in three, two, one. Roll it over, other side. Right away, no break here. Got this. You're in control here. Lift and set. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Woohoo! I felt that. All right, speed squats. Still your pace. I want it to be a challenging pace, though. You don't need to match my pace. You can go faster, you can go slower, but I want it to be a challenge. One minute starts right now. Touch the floor, reach up. Feet are flat on the floor every time. Just your hips back, chest stays up. Got this. 20 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! All right, triceps. Press up, hike, reach. We're gonna add one tricep to each rep this time. So tricep, two triceps, and then the same thing, pike and double reach. So two tricep press ups for each rep. And you're going at your pace. I'd like it to be a push pace, something that pushes you here. One minute starts right now. Press up, press up, pike and reach, pike and reach. Got this. Almost there, team. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. We're going to get through this one more time. If you need to go, please don't. Just finish. You can do this. Uh, we're going to make this a full hour workout today. Don't go quick, it's just one minute per movement here. All right, bear crawls coming up in 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab a quick little sip. Final minute of bear in three, two, one, and go. Little taps, core is engaged. Concentrate on your core for a little bit, just keep those legs moving. Bring that belly button in towards your spine. Drop your shoulders so your shoulder blades are pushing toward your back pockets. Check your knees. Are they right under your hips? Are they hovering over the floor?
Let's run that core again. I know your quads are burning. You got this. Less than 15 seconds left. Breathe. Five seconds. You can do it. Through the finish. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, side plank, those little abductions. Forty seconds per side, no breaks between. Ready, set, and go. Lift and set from their center to your front, not forcing anything. This is not about a big movement, it's about a controlled, small movement. It can be fast, but with control. I'm kind of fighting gravity throughout. So not letting your foot fall, you're setting it down. Three, Two, and turn over other side right away. From center to just in front a couple feet. All we're looking for. Heels up to the ceiling, toe is down to the floor. Keeping that control. How's that butt? I feel mine. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, speed squats. Final minute of speed squats here. Come up in five. Three, two, one. And squat, touch the floor and reach up. Keep that chest up, keep pushing your hips back. Halfway through. If you can pick up your pace, we're not jumping here, but this is safe. Pick up that pace a little bit. Hips stay back. Touch the floor. Reach up. Three, two, one. Woohoo! All right, final movement. Triceps. Double triceps and double knee tap from that pike. Triceps press ups for one minute. Starting in ten. Three, two, and go. Forearm up. Go down the forearm, come up. Pike and touch, pike and touch. Remember you can do these from your knees and then just pop up to that plank after your two press ups. Five seconds, get a couple more reps. Three, two, 
One. Woo! We did it. We got through. A little bit of speed, a little bit of slow and controlled movement today. Thanks so much for being here. Um, and uh, know that you can go back and do any of the workouts. They're all on my Kelly Smith Fitness page. They're also on Tahoma Athletic Club's page. And um, we have an organized too. You can look up a specific kind of workout that you want to do and be guided through it. Make sure you comment or like. And um, hopefully we're praying. Praying for everyone affected by these fires. Um, I have, my son had an orthodontist appointment this morning and there was already, you know, there were people talking about having to, they've already evacuated their homes and anyway, fires are, are um, scary and I'm praying for those firefighters because uh, they're really, you know, they don't get to evacuate. They have to go right in and um, do their saving work and so um, yeah. Hopefully next week we will be able to meet in person at Tome Athletic Club at 9 a.m. And um, it will still be streamed live. If you can't make it then, it'll still be here. So have a great day. Get some stretching in right here. That's what I'm going to do after I push stop. But thanks for pushing start today, being here with me, and getting this awesome workout in. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys soon.